everybody welcome back to uh, the channel so as you saw on the thumbnail or did see in the thumbnail um pick something up or i'm hoping to pick something up i guess i guess if you see the thumbnail i pick something up um so i'm headed to uh down in ohio it's about two and a half hours away to st mary's ohio um, to uh go look at something uh, you know, we'll see if I drag it home. It's something I definitely need. Uh, you know, so I've uh, been putting it off and I've been borrowing and, and renting them. So that should give you a hint of, uh, you know, what I'm about to go check out. So, uh, yeah, let me do uh, maybe just a short little time lapse, just a short one. Um, you know, a little bit of the drive headed south to uh, Ohio. Like I said, it's about two and a half hours from the house. And uh, when we get there, um, we'll show a little video of uh, what I'm taking a look at and uh, what I'm hoping I can pick up. Try that again. So, uh, hit a bump and the camera bobbled. Anyway, two and a half hour drive. Let's see if, uh, you know, if it's in really good shape. Um, and hopefully I can pick this up and drag it home. Uh, so anyway, let me uh, set up the time lapse. Well guys, here we are. Midway Trailer Sales and Service. Yep, I'm buying a car trailer. Maybe. So, right back here is what I'm looking at. A feather light trailer. So I'm at, uh, I think it's Midwest Trailers here in St. Mary, Ohio, guys. And this is a 2013 Featherlight that I found. Um, you can see a couple things first off right. It's got the nice electric raises and lowers. It's got the diamond plate storage box. Got the wind deflector there. It's got the nice aluminum rims. It's got a 5,000 pound winch already on it. This is all aluminum. It's got this spare mount on it. Uh, it's got the Goodyear, got the good Goodyear Marathon tires, um, and the tires are in great shape. You know, I don't see any wear on them. Um, you know, or uneven wear front to back, right? Uh, like if there was an axle twisted, anything like that. Both fenders are removable. Um, you know, aluminum ramps. You know, and the doors are in good shape. This one's just missing a, a pin here. Uh, looks like it's got LED lights. Um, you know, so it's a 17 foot, 6 inch long trailer. And believe it or not, this one is capable of carrying 10,000 pounds. Um, so it actually is rated for 9,600 pounds. Sorry, 9,600 pounds versus a 7,000 pound trailer. So if I ever get a bigger truck, I'll be able to put, uh, you know, something big and heavy on it and have no issues with it. So this thing weighs probably in the neighborhood of about 1,650 pounds. Um, you know, I was trying to go with a lighter weight trailer because I'll be pulling it with the Tacoma, um, you know, until someday I get a bigger truck. But uh, so guys, this is probably what I'm gonna buy. I need to already put a deposit on it a couple days ago for them to hold it. So now I'm probably gonna go inside and do the paperwork, purchase it, and uh, 
haul this thing home. Well guys, I, uh, I'm dragging a trailer home. So uh, I was able to get the price down a little bit. Um, they, you know, about 500 bucks. So that's, uh, that always helps, right? Um, so, you know, down the road I need to purchase tires. You know, I can. I can tell you the trailer brakes work. Uh, you know, they work really well. So, uh, with the brake controller. Um, so I'm pretty happy overall with the purchase. It tows nice so far. Um, you know, I'm cruising along at 65 and really don't notice it back there. Um, you know, it's nice and smooth. So, uh, you know, the only thing I might do is take that big deflector thing off, air dam, um, up, you know, in for the like summertime. Uh, I might leave it on for uh, sick week, uh, you know, in February, right? Because uh, there's going to be snow and you know, who knows what I'm going to run into on the way down for weather, uh, you know, from Michigan all the way down to Florida. So I might leave that uh, deflector on there. Uh, we'll see. Uh, you know, it's a big, just air, I don't know, I think it's going to affect the fuel economy. And I need all the help I can get. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, you know what I'm going to do, though, is I am going to, when I get it home, uh, I do want to check the brakes. Uh, you know, they said they checked everything out. Uh, you know, before I left, uh, we made sure all the lights worked. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, the trailer brakes definitely work. But I want to inspect the brakes when I get it home. So I'll probably do a video on uh, uh, what to look for, you know, when uh, looking at a used trailer, um, especially aluminum. Uh, you know, this uh, this one was super clean. I ain't seen any broken welds. I think there's one very small dent uh, on the aluminum uh, fender, and that's about it. Uh, this thing is super clean. Um, the deck on this is pretty cool. Uh, it actually has, like, I don't know how little ridges. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'll, I'll, you know, when I go go through the trailer, I'll, I'll take a little video here, um, plop it in right now about what I'm talking about the deck with the surface, you know, so it'll keep the car from bouncing around and moving, you know, sliding side to side type of thing. So there's actually little like perforations on the deck, uh, you know, so it'll kind of help uh, keep it from moving around. Um, so it's actually a really nice trailer. Uh, like I said, it's actually got, uh, I think the 4,800 pound axles under it. So technically this is a 9,600 pound trailer. Uh, so with the weight of the trailer being right around 1,600, um, you know, technically if I wanted to, I could put 7,000 pounds worth of weight on the trailer. And the only problem is, you know, this truck's not capable of pulling that much. But, you know, if I do upgrade, a, you know, the truck in the future, you know, then I can, you know, put like a, you know, like an old Bronco or, you know, something like that and haul it if I wanted to. So anyway, guys, this is just, uh, you know, something I've been wanting to do for years and years and years is get a car trailer. Well, hey, everyone. So now you can see the trailer. Uh, I am at home. Um, it was getting dark uh, when I left yesterday. So uh, anyway, now I need to see what I can do to fit it in the garage. So I'm gonna do for right now is take the car out of the garage, move it over to this garage, so I can put the trailer in this garage, um, check the brakes and uh, the bearings and all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, it's still kind of nice out. Um, one of the reasons why you know I bought this one, obviously it's a feather light for one. Um, you know I've been looking for several weeks, and uh, anything that I showed interest in, by the time I tried to reach out to the person was pretty much already had 10 people in line to buy it um so i may have spent a you know a little bit more for this one even though it's a used um but it's a really nice trailer you know 96 it's got 4800 pound axles so it can actually tow 9600 uh pounds actually even you subtract the trailer you know it's probably like 8,000 pounds so it can take a load um you know it's got the nice big 225 uh tires on it uh you know six lug axles so, uh, you know, tires are a little more heavy duty on it. It's got the spare, you know, and then the winch and everything like I talked about earlier. Um, you know, it's really nice. Like I said, I looked at a lot of trailers and, you know, some people obviously priced them, mispriced them, didn't know the market. Some people are pricing stuff that's 10 years old for the same price as stuff that's brand new. Um, 
you know, so the, the right now, you know, the market's going crazy. And so I think I got a fair decent uh, price on this one from a trailer place. So anyway, guys, let me show you the deck. Um, you know, one of the nice things about the deck surface here. Let me flip the camera around. So this is what I was talking about. You know, this has got, you can see all these, I don't know, ridges or ripples or perforations or whatever you want to call it in it. But basically, you know, once you get the car on here, this is going to be really nice to help keep it from moving side to side and bouncing around. Um, kind of get up close, you can see what I was talking about there. So that's a, a nice feature. You know, obviously the winch is going to be a nice feature as well. Uh, it does function and work. Um, it's got a really nice long handle on it, so I'm not sure if it's enough to reach back here. So if I wanted to, I could control it. We'll just pull on a car up. Kind of hoping it is. Um, you know, everything works. Uh, a couple things I do need to address. Is the battery is not secure. Um, so I need to secure the battery right, to keep this from bouncing around. Um, I need to make sure the top, you know, goes on it. You know, it did come with a wheel, which is nice, but it also came with, you know, a flat plate too. Um, and you can see here, it's got a really long cord. So this is an older one, it's not wireless, but uh, you know, this may be enough to go from front to back. So like I said, I did test the winch and it did work. Uh, kind of nice setup here with a bunch of, uh, whoops, nice setup here with a bunch of uh, relays as well. So I'm gonna get the charger on this thing because I have no idea how old it is and how what's the state of charge. So I'm gonna hook up uh, my you know, battery tender to this, get her charged up um, here real quick. So that's probably the only thing I need to fix. Oh, and I wanna check the condition of the battery for the breakaway system. Uh, make sure the, you know, the battery for that is in good shape too. So other than that, that's all I need to do to this. Secure the battery. Um, I wanna put the, you know, the, the cord and the handle and everything for the winch, you know, in a nice pouch to keep it from bouncing around and secure. Um, and check out the, uh, the breakaway. Um, and that's about all I need to do to this thing. And like I said, oh, I'm gonna inspect the brakes and also check the wheel bearings. Make sure everything's good on those. Inspect the spare tire. Um, the tires themselves are in great condition. They're a little older, but you know, there is hardly anywhere on these things at all. So that kind of does it, guys. So with that said, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, go ahead and swap the stuff around, get it inside, and we'll start inspecting the brakes. Um, you know, the wheel bearings, get the battery tied down, uh, do see if there's any other maintenance I need to do to it before I start using it uh, in February to go down to Florida for sick week. So with that guys, uh, thanks for watching as always. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Um, you know, a couple key things about buying a used trailer too is obviously you, you, what you wanna do is make sure you have even wear across, you know, the entire tire. Um, there's no broken welds, whether it be a steel trailer or aluminum trailer, obviously no damage to it, um, you know, where it looks like it's hit, um, you know, check to make sure the torsion axles, you know, are okay. This is a torsion axle setup, a little different than the conventional steel trailer axles. You know, there is no damage to the fenders whatsoever, really, you know, so you just want to do a good you know, walk around and inspect it, crawl under it um, to make sure everything's okay. Make sure the deck's not like warped, you know what I mean? Where maybe something heavy was loaded on it, the age of the tires, you know, all those things, right, all add up. So you, I, I was looking at a trailer, for example, that was $4,500, um, 2007. And when I got there to look at, you know, the tires were the original tires still on it. Uh, so. You know, there was a bunch of damage to the passenger fender. Uh, the one side fender was removable, the other side was not. Um, you know, so I ended up passing on it uh, just because now, you know, okay, I, I don't know the condition of the brakes. Um, you know, there was a lot going on with that one and for a couple hundred dollars more, basically, I was able to buy this one. Uh, a much nicer trailer that had the winch and everything already included on it. So, you know, shop around. Um, you know, inspect them, 
uh, like I said, man, when I was trying to come across them, I probably messaged 15 different people, uh, you know, and it's hours and hours away too, just to try to find something. Because in my area, man, if it goes up for sale and it's at a decent price, it's it's already got a ton of people and it's probably already sold before I even get a chance to look at it. So I was lucky enough to find this one actually at a trailer dealer. And it wasn't being advertised on Facebook Marketplace or anything. It was on their website. So something to consider is, just pull up a bunch of trailer places, you know, local to you, uh, more within a couple hour range, and just start going on their website, you know, or call on them, see if they got anything used on the market. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Um, peace out, and I uh, will talk to you guys on, on the next upload.